All right. What I have here is an Elmer Wall 50cc four cylinder, four stroke. It's a flathead. And never mind that racket in the background. There's just some people in this world that just have no discretion. But anyway. God damn it. Hang on. Had a little bit of a technical difficulty. My foot snagged the cord for the fan and water pump. But you got to be joking. Anyway, here goes. bad for an engine that's 70 years old running off of uh, I don't know what brand it is but <laughs> I ordered it through Sterling kit and I bought a distributor from uh, sterlingkit.com but I took the I guess what you would call a rotor button. It's got the four magnets in it. Drilled the hole to match that shaft and put it on the shaft and had to drill a hole in the bottom of this plate and put a crankshaft sensor in and put the rotor button that I modified in here but I tried to keep it as original as possible I know some of you are going to be like you butchered it well a little but what I did to that distributor is nothing that I can't undo okay if I want to run points distributor again I can't but I wanted to put electronic ignition on it for 
better timing control and a hotter spark and it paid off it runs much better a whole lot better I'm gonna go ahead and probably go ahead and kill that yeah I think it's I like to let it circulate the uh, the coolant um, with the fan running just to help cool the block while it is not running. See, I can put my finger on it. It's hot, but it's not so hot that it's scalding me. So, anyway, um, that's an awesome little engine. Very hard to find, by the way. I wish that worked, but uh, it doesn't, uh, I don't know. I don't know if it was cast wrong or what, but it doesn't, it doesn't work like it's supposed to. That's why I put an electric uh, water pump on it. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this video, and please excuse my rambling, but I enjoy doing this kind of thing. That's my hobby. Until next time.